Hello everybody and welcome back to Aquatism Gaming with more Walking Dead to Tall Tale series season 3. Okay, let's continue. Not really liking Gabe. Alright, we're in this new area. So. Okay. I'm not really seeing much. Might be able to get in through the hatch. <laughs> Looks pretty run down. Locked. Gabe, come check this out. Oh, wow. Not the cleanest place. Oh, no more those at least. Let's just be careful. Are you kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Oh, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. Oh, check it out. This is actual honest to God pudding. Seriously? And it's not just food. There's a mattress, there's blankets. Someone else's mattress someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. Well, you gotta admit, it's kinda cozy in here. The van is cozy. This is creepy. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming, if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it, before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't we just enjoy it? Bobby, can we? We could stretch you know... out and sleep well for once. Come on, you know it's not a big deal. We're gonna get what we came for and get out of here. Great. Another shitty cramp night in our shitty cramp van. Hooray. Come on. Let's at least grab the food. I mean, if it wasn't for the herd, but like... <sighs> Thanks for that. Backing me up and all. How does it feel to be the bad guy this time? It must be a new sensation for you. Oh, oh boy, sleeping in the van again? <laughs> All I'll say is you definitely owe me one. <laughs> yeah, well, you owe me like a dozen, so I'll just shake it uh, off the tab. Hey, Kate, can you come help us with this? Hey, uh, wait, but you... This way you can make up for being the bad guy. 
Thanks. Grab some gas. We need to head out soon. What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Go on, speak up! Whoa, whoa, look, the gas is all there. Just keep it. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a little too late for that. You ain't the loner type. I can tell. I know you got people. Yeah, you got people around here somewhere. Sure as shit you do. Fan out, look for the others. Lonnie, you're with me. Hey! You assholes in there! I got your boy! You don't want him getting shot, you best come out there careful with your hands up! Go on, you first. You get ambushed by your own people, that shit's gonna make my day. Open it real slowly. These are all open. You can't just take what you like. Look, we hardly took any. Uh, really, someone must have been here before us. Look, I, I, I get it, all right? You're starving. Who the fuck is it? At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling <clears throat> that you're full of shit. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. Eye on this dickhead, I'm gonna grab some cuffs. Screw it. He knows who I am.
right. I mean, I went and gave up the gun automatically. Look at her. Okay guys, started seeing a little glitch, so I had a cut, and hopefully it's resolved now. So let's get right back into this. Clem's back! Whoa, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop Smart. the truck. Shit. Alright. Yeah, you stopped it alright. Think you overdid it. Tree fell slower than I thought it would. Put your hands up. And close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Good. Let's go. You don't mess with Clem, Javi, okay? This really necessary? You don't know. I don't know you. I don't trust you. And I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer Where's for AJ? both of us if you're Where's, tied up. Uh, Jane? Hey, that's fine with me. I don't trust you either. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Well, thanks for not killing me, Clementine. Don't thank me yet. Aww. So I'm guessing at this point, we've seen her and she was like 10, so four year gap, so this should probably be 14 to 13. Oh great. How about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I know, you'd turn around and use it on me. Look, I'm not gonna shoot you. You shot the other guy. Well, you didn't tie me up and stick me in a truck. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Apology accepted. I wasn't apologizing. I 
I guess Jane didn't work out, and I guess she took AJ. My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive. Surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. Well, I didn't do it alone. My, uh, well, uh, Kate helped. She did most of the work, actually. Sounds nice, having a partner. It is. Well, how about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Can you do that? Please? Fine. Whatever you say. Thank you. You gotta trust her. Don't make me regret this. Come on! Okay. I pushed the right button. Let me try there. it again. Get to the gate. Let's keep going. You'll we'll open up. Shit. Hey. Open up. Till you clear them out. Can't risk it. Seen one of these days, those doors are gonna close and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind if you wanna hang on to all your teeth, that is. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. So Clem already knows some of the civilizations. That's cool. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... 
They're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know, you'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go, this way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. like this it's well you know it's just like the old days listen I gotta take care of something hang tight well, wait wait what should I do I don't know why don't you make some friends Excuse me. Ah, oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20 year career. The way I see it. Nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. The past is the past. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, the game's poker. Five card stud. <laughs> I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call, or should I fold? Hmm. Don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over him. <laughs> Is that a fact? Alright, I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight. Oh, hell yeah! Nice. Well, calm down, both of you. Thanks for the advice, huh? <laughs> How's about a drink? On my tab. Bottoms up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And yeah, who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? She doesn't need a bodyguard. She could take care of herself. Believe me. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clint, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Unfucking believable. Look out! Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. Boy, you have it wrong, buddy. That's right. I don't control her. I don't control her. Which looks like her. bad news for you. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Drop the gun. Right now. See, he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you. Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it. You've done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking... 
What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Does she really have to shoot? Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa. you. Whoa! Oh, hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. I mean, that's fair. Got some nerve. Coming this dude seems to have the best bar. foundation. Come on, Clem. Should know better by now. You don't wave a gun unless you gotta use it. I'd have punch your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey, thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um, that was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. So, yeah, anyway. Clem's good people. Thanks. Just don't think this makes us friends like she's or been here before. Hello? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. Trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. It's reasonable. Now, let's see about that wound. All right. Well, I'm going to end this episode here, and I'll see you guys next time with more Walking Dead The Tall Tale Series Season 3. And if you like this video, like it down there, subscribe, tell your friends, let them join the allegiance, and I'll see you guys next time.